Hi folks, what if you want your CNC machine to move to a specific location before a tool change? Not just in Z with a Z retract, but a Z, X, and Y location. Let's show how we can modify our post processor to give us this variable of using a custom tool change location. Welcome to another Fusion Friday. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my standard Tormach post processor, open config, and go to file, save as. We're going to fork it off so that we're experimenting with a copy and not our main post. And I'm actually going to rename it custom TCL so that I know that that post is different. I'll close it here. Okay, I can now, oops, dot CPS. I can now right click and choose edit with notepad plus plus which is a much better way, uh, much better program to use to edit this post processor. So let's rewind though for a second and take a look at what's happening here. If I go to post process and we use our regular post process, click post, T2, G43, H2, M6. So T2 is the tool number, M6 is the M code to trigger a tool change. So what I want is before that happens, I want it to trigger a tool change. If you look at this list of properties, normally G30 was set to on. I just turned it off because I was experimenting here. But let's take a look at what happens when we leave G30 on. And we'll see right before that T2 M6, it calls a G30, which on the Tormach will usually just lift the Z up to the tool change height that you have set in Pathpilot. You can actually go into settings and uncheck Z limit or, or only use G30 for Z. It'll move X and Y as well, but it does all three at the same time, which I don't like at all. And I think there's a really cool capability to being able to do this, not at the controller, but rather in our code and post. But this G30 is helpful because I'm gonna go into our post and I wanna call up G30. Now we get lucky here because Normally, you're not going to see things like G30 and G54 in the post. You're going to see things that read a little bit more like a programming language, which is gformat.format30. So that's how you would really search for the output of G30. Uh, we get lucky because they use G30 in a sort of colloquial manner of calling it as a property or definition here. So use G30 equals true. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so this is interesting. Function on section, variable or var, insert tool call. This kind of looks right. There's some buzzwords in here that I think I like, but if I keep looking, the next one is even better. I'm going to close this. Insert tool call. If the tool number is greater than 256, generate an error. The length offset, and then this looks right. So sure enough, if we saw the difference between the two versions of the code that we just posted, one had a G30, one didn't. It looks like that should have happened right here. If the properties.usG30 was true, then it's gonna add this G30 comment line. So let's do a quick test. Within that if statement, I'm gonna add a comment, which is right line, format comment, and then in parentheses, I'll put this comment, JWS, or that's my initials, we'll call it NYC, CNC, custom tool change, post test comment. So let's just save that, close out of here, so let's repost this and let's see if our comment is coming through in the right place. Awesome. So T2 M6 right before it is my comment and before that is the G30. Now I don't want the G30. What we're gonna do here is kind of in lieu of that. But that's what's so cool. I've never done this before. I just am trying to figure this out. And I thought, well, wait a minute here. Properties equals use G30 is true so these properties in this list here is the list that we see right here. And there's nothing sacred about this. We can do whatever we want. So take a look. Right below use G30, I'm going to say use custom TCL true, comma, for whatever reason, you have to have a comma at the end there. Um, NYC CNC testing a custom TCL. And then Right here, you have to define the definitions. I honestly don't know why, but let's just obey the rules here and say, okay, use, oh, look at that. Because we're in Notepad++, it already sees that we've defined it above. It lets us pull it up automatically. That's pretty cool. Colon, 
um, open whatever those are title is use custom TCL description I'm, I'm literally mimicking the line above it um, use custom tool change location comma type is boolean for now boolean means true or false if you didn't know that I took like Pascal for two months in uh, eighth grade or something it did not go well but uh, that's why I remember learning the word boolean okay so I don't like title used custom TCL because that's not descriptive enough so custom tool change location that way it's clear so let's just save that and let's go look and see if it pops up in our list now <laughs> look at that use custom tool change location value is yes or no that's cool now we've got to do something with it so let's go back down to where it called up g30 so insert tool call if property is g30 then it did that well i'm going to say um, if properties dot use custom tcl if that was true then what we're going to do is I'm going to paste in this code right here. So you can download this post uh, and the sample is just code on the NYC CNC website. But what we're doing is using G53. And this is the same thing that we use when we did our warm up routine Wednesday widget. But the way to think about G53 is G53, Z0, X, and Y0 are all the locations at your machine's limit switch or home position. So what I'm doing is saying if we want to use our custom tool change location, then go to G53, G0, Z, negative 0.5, so half an inch below the, the home position or limit switch. Then on the next line, G53, G0, X of one inch, Y of zero. So you can set this to what you want. Let's take a look if it works. Post. Okay, it looks like I made a mistake because our properties aren't populating. So properties, true, comma, that's fine definitions I bet you I, I made a mistake here so these need to end with a comma that looks okay type boolean description okay it wasn't clear to me what I did so let's post it click post I hope we actually get an error which tells us oh perfect okay missing a bracket at line 473 okay so that should be the 473 from the, the post we made so edit that uh, it may not always be 473 but we'll take a look TCL, let's find my section. Oh yeah, I just forgot to close my if statement, sorry. So it wasn't on, that's one of the problems, the lines aren't the same. This was actually on 537, but that will help give you a, a clue of what's going on. So if you're new to programming, when I highlight this guy, you can see it's showing where it opened. So I'm actually pretty certain, I know that that was a mistake and I actually suspect that will fix everything. Perfect, so our property list came up. I'm not gonna use G30, I am gonna use custom tool change location, click post. Okay, so T2, M6, and right before it, look at that, G53, G0, Z negative 0.5, X1, Y0. That is awesome. Folks, hope you learned something, hope you enjoy. We've got more videos on everything Fusion 360, CNC machining, manufacturing entrepreneurship and speeds and feeds over at nyccnc.com, including some other videos specifically on editing post processors. Take care. See you soon.